things is just so weird now, man. So you would be cool with your homie inviting you over for margaritas and a drink night? Well, one on drink. If he's saying, yo, come on through for margaritas and drink, <laughs> I have a problem with that. Why? Can we watch the game? Huh? Why can we watch the game? All right, you saying let's come come through and watch the game. <laughs> That's what you say. You don't say, hey, yo, I'm having margaritas and we play and, and Drake come through. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't want no parts of that. You know what I mean? Like That's if you're saying, yo, come through, got the game on, you know what I mean? That's that's how you say it. The way you saying it, <laughs> it sound like it's some uh, some in, intentions there that that I don't want any parts of. Oh my gosh, you trying to drink and chill? With <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Off Black Podcast, episode five slash six. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, I got my cousin here, David. Yo, yo. And I am Celine. We are here to uh, have another day of fun. So, Drake, he dropped his... Uh, the GOAT. The GOAT? The GOAT? I think that's solidified at this point. That's appropriate to say. The greatest of all time. For this generation or... Of all time. Of all time? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. I'm he not... got more slaps than the Beatles. I see that. I see he about to dethrone Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not mad at the uh, at the at the goat title. I mean, I enjoy his music. Mm-hmm. Well, very entertaining. Sure. But uh, he did drop uh, for my dogs. For all the dogs. For all the dogs. There we go. And uh, I know it just dropped Friday, but I, I did listen to it maybe twice I, I ran through that joint and uh it's not bad you know what i mean it's not something that would i'm gonna say it's his best album right but it's still a good joint i feel like it's better than the last couple joints he put out you think it's better than the, the last two it's definitely her loss and and uh certified lover boy i feel like her loss don't count that was a joint was it though? Yeah. It was like the joint he did with Future. I don't know what we Right. I mean, I don't know. It seemed like it was more Drake than 21 Savage. It did though. seem like that a little bit. You know what I mean? Actually, I like her loss better than For All the Dogs, actually. Okay. Yeah. So we'll skip that one. And honestly, never mind. Yeah. Certified Lover Boy. Yeah. Certified Lover Boy. Yeah. Yeah. You got certified lover boy over this? I don't know. For real, for real, there's some joints on here. Oh, no, for sure, yeah. But it's some joints, it's, it's a lot of fillers, too. It's, I feel like it's too many songs. That's, it's, yeah, it's a lot of 23 fillers. is a lot for Drake, you know. Now, they're entertaining, but it's some of them joints, like uh, the joint with, um, what's his boy name? Steve's Old Touchdown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that John, <laughs> that's an instant skip. But so, out of the twenty-three tracks, out of the twenty-three tracks, definite replay of I'm gonna say eleven of them. All right, so let's go down this list. Virginia Beach, cool. Amen. Well, that's the one you said. That's a skip. So that's a skip. Calling for you with twenty-one. I like twenty-one's part. I like the beat flip on that. Mm-hmm. Drake John was a little two down but 21 came in and sparked that joint up fear heights that's tough daylight uh that was okay first person shooter fire fire <laughs> fire and cold destroyed them yeah now the crazy thing is they should have stayed on the beat cold was spitting on it was a lot of beat switches on that joint wasn't yeah it? but when drake flipped the beat that's like Cole had the, the pace on that joint mm. but then Drake came in and slowed that joint down a little bit if he would have flowed over that beat right. that Cole got on that joint would have been crazy who had the better verse Cole 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 had the better verse now like I said 
I don't know. Maybe it was just the, the switch up on the beat that just, you know what I mean? Drake was saying some things, mm-hmm. but that beat switched up, took the momentum away from Drake because that the pace on, on Cold Verse was like boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And he was just spitting. And then if the beat switched up, and then it was like, all right, cool. It's still a fire song. But yeah, Cole got him on that. I don't give a fuck for Yeet. That's okay. But um, whoever this Yeet dude is, he sound like Young Thug. Mm-hmm. I thought it was Young Thug. I thought it was Young Thug when, uh, when I heard it. You know, he's in jail, thanks to Gunner. That's, you know, no. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Gunner had nothing, to, had nothing yeah. to do with that, man. 79, 69, Santa. Honestly, I don't even remember what that John sound like. It sounded like an interlude almost. Yeah. Mom, you out with Scissor? Love that song. Toxic. Uh, Bahamas Promises. That's cool. Tried our best. I like that John. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Screw the World interlude. Yeah, I mean, that's a skip. Drew up Picasso. Not bad. Members only. Members only. Party next door. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a vibe on that. What would Pluto do? That's cool. All the parties with Chief Keith. Mm, that was all right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, ADM and Charlotte. Tough. BBL love. That's cool. Gently. <laughs> I don't remember that one. John with Bad Bunny? Yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, no, that's a skip. Yeah. Uh, Rich Baby Daddy. Your shorty six year old. <laughs> Yo, that, that, <laughs> I like that show. <laughs> that show, wow. I hate that song. For real? No, nah, it's, it's, it's a little theme to that joint that I like. I mean, she ain't rapping on that. She basically just sings the hook, but mm. her hook, <laughs> her hook game is crazy. She does annoying to me. <laughs> she does sound like she's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> what? She does just sound like she's dirty. Yeah, okay. She does sound like she's thing. Hey. Like she does look. She look like she smell like. <laughs> she looks like she smell like black and mild. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Well, look, she got her boyfriend out there. It's about her, uh, her yams, her yams dried out. That's corny. <laughs> you know what I she don't got, like? She got dry yams. I don't like when niggas sleep with a celebrity shorty, mm-hmm. but then go run their mouth about it. That's corny to me. I mean, it's not, it's not that many cases of that. Like, dude was a. It boyfriend. just happened for her. But he was a boyfriend before she got famous. No, some nigga does leak their sex tape together. Yeah, that's him. Oh, for real? Yeah, she been with both for a minute. Mm. Another late night with uh, Lil Yachty. Nah. Nah. That's cool. But, I mean, I little, like that. Uh, little Yachty. I mean, I, I you, know people really you like, like him. Lil Boat. Nah. His um, the way he rapped just is just not a it doesn't it's uh, not appealing. Away from home, that's cool. Polar opposites, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it sounds like you only skipped. Now remember, skipping and being able to ride out with a couple of them is cool, but all mm-hmm. in all, it's still you love. got three skips. Probably more than that, but. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so this right was now, cool. You, you're twenty for twenty three. Twenty for twenty three. No, I'm pretty sure it's more than that. I mean, like I said, they cool, but it's it's like eleven for sure are my favorite. And um, as far as is this is best joint, uh, I don't know. See, Drake to me, you can you can just listen to him. Like it's not really a best album you can really pick out because for mm. me. His he does he doesn't change his style. The theme mm-hmm. of his albums does not change. The concept, all that stuff, it really don't change much. 
Mm-hmm. The only thing that changes for real, for real, are, uh, you know, some features. But lately, he's been pretty much featuring with the same people. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, pretty much. He got a, a small um, small group of, of people that he collab with. You know? I mean, I like that, how he's been uh, uh, sparking that fire back up with that uh, Pusha T beef. Like, all you hear is Virginia this, Virginia that, and mm-hmm. all through the throughout the joint. So I like that. But it's, I it's a it's solid. Huh? I want to see him and Kendrick go at it. Or like, them two niggas be having little things to say about each other here and there. Yeah. But you talk about, I mean, no, they do it anyway. You just about a no. little bit more direct. Yeah. Well, yeah. I need diss tracks from both of them. Gotcha. But I think Kendrick loses that. Really? Yeah. I think Drake smokes Kendrick in a, in a battle. Like a battle battle? Well, like the little, like the diss track. The diss tracks. I think Kendrick loses that. Nah. But I do see how Drake would probably have somewhat of an advantage with him being more of a popular artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like Drake is the is Michael Jackson. Cole is like like Prince. No, matter of fact, Kendrick is like Prince. Kendrick is Prince. Right? And then Cole, he like somewhere in between. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where he, he does a lot of the conscious shit. But he does a lot of he spit some bars crazy too. You know what I mean? Cole is Janet Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cole is uh Chris Brown. You know what I mean? Like he'll he'll get at you. You know what I mean? But yeah, Kendrick Kendrick got flow. He got the cadence. He got all that. Mm-hmm. It's just he has a sound that you either love or hate, you know what I mean? Mm. Like you either a real true Kendrick Lamar fan or you like, nah, I'm I'm cool with that. Because you know, he yeah. he doesn't make really, you know, club music. Mm. He doesn't really make, yo, know, let's hop in the car, ride out to this music. You know what I mean? Like his is a job. Mm. Do. A small percentage. He hasn't made like let's hop in the wheel and ride out since Good Kid Mad City. Everything okay. else has been yeah. a, a lot more conscious, you know, introspective, thought provoking type stuff. What about damn? Yeah. You can't just throw damn on in a in a car. Maybe two or three tracks. Yeah. I'll give them I'll give about four. Four tracks you probably can throw on and, and, and ride out to. But other than that, like I said, that's a thing. Yeah, I don't think he really has replayable albums. No, I, I, I replay them. But they ain't, like, again, you have to be in a mood to f- follow what he's saying. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because he's throwing shit at you rapidly. Bah, 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 bah. You know what I mean? So right. you got to hear what it is that he's throwing at you. Whereas recently cole he's just been on a straight flames tour like Mm -hmm. he's just spitting bars and again drake drake just plays i think the only person out of those three that can beat drake in a this battle is cole i mean for real for real drake hasn't really won a lot of battles he won one and one he won and won I mean, the John with Meek is was kind of a forfeit. How was it? How was it a forfeit? I mean, no, he won. <laughs> let me not. Let me not take. He won. Drake won that. Mm. Drake won that. Meek didn't want to follow through with whatever that was going on for whatever reason. Like he said, "All right, cool. He got it. So he won." The John with Pusha, that's still to be determined because you know he's he's been throwing shots at Boy the last few songs for sure and you know push has yet to respond and he's he, i guess we still waiting a response from uh for the jim jones thing so i'm assuming he cooking something up with this clips album that's about to drop where he's addressing all that, that shit you crazy you crazy 
But no, nah, Drake, Drake, Drake is uh Drake Drake is that dude. He's that dude. He he has music for everybody. You can pretty much and be you can't a play Drake anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You can. Mm-hmm. You absolutely can. No matter what the setting is or the vibe. Right. Right. And that's what I was saying. Like, is there really a, a better Drake album? Because it it's joints you can really be like, nah, I'm cool with. But it's joints on there that's man, let me the replay value on it is 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 crazy. And that's from the beginning of I his, think what's the name is better than this. What? I think views is better. I like views. I mean it's not really too many I don't yeah. I mean it hasn't been the album yet that he has dropped that I just was like, nah, I can't listen to it. Like everything has everything he's he's dropped has been playable. The only album I didn't really listen to or get into was the, the dance drum. Honestly, never honestly, mind. never mind. Nah, but that's I mean, not, it's, that's it's not less. Something I just can listen to in the crib. Right. Like, no, there. That one probably has the most, the least amount of uh, of um songs on there, playable songs. Mm-hmm. But there are some joints on there. No. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There are some joints on there that you can listen to. You know what I mean? I guess make your own little uh, Drizzy playlist or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But no, this was a solid so album. So if you go over to your homie crib and you playing Drake, they're all Bob. Yo, that shit sounds suspect. <laughs> <like a motherfucker>. <laughs> <laughs> he, he playing uh, the Honestly Nevermind album. Yeah, he's making y'all some uh, margaritas. See, I don't, I don't like your tone <laughs> and how you're saying this, but at the same time, I don't see where that would be an issue. I mean, listen, I think you're the only one that... <laughs> <laughs> that be... <laughs> I think you're the only one that be letting dudes hug you from the back. <laughs> no, that's crazy. <laughs> like, that's a new thing now. Motherfuckers no, getting hugged from, no, from not, behind now. We're not doing that. <laughs> that's insane. Listen, that's a violation. <laughs> nah, that's what that's definitely. But I oh, don't know. That's just how um, things is just so weird now, man. So you would be cool with your homie inviting you over for margaritas and a drink night? Well, one I don't drink. If he's saying, "Yo, come on through for margaritas and drinks," <laughs> I have a problem with that. Why? Can we watch the game? Huh? Why can we watch the game? All right, you saying let's come come through and watch the game. <laughs> That's what you say. You don't say, hey, yo, I'm having margaritas and we play and, and Drake come through. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nah, I don't want no parts of that. You know what I mean? Like that's if you're saying, home, yo, come through, got the game on, you know what I mean? That's that's how you say it. The way you saying it, <laughs> I sound like it's some uh, some in, intentions there that that I don't want any parts of. Oh my gosh. You trying to drink and chill with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, come through. We drink, drink and chill. Like what? Nah. <laughs> Yo, drink and chill is crazy. Listen, I went to uh, Brooklyn to check out the Book of Hove uh, um, exhibit. Mm-hmm. It was it was nice. It was nice. It was a vibe. Uh, you get they had the um, his uh, Grammys displayed, BT awards, pretty much every award that he ever received. Um, some memorabilia from concerts. Mm. Um, they had all these records displayed, all of uh, magazine covers. Um, of course, uh, the the Alexis. The Lexus. Yeah, the Lexus that was in uh, oh. one of his videos was also displayed. I mean, it was cool. Was it free? Yep. It was free. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's free to the public. It was it was crowded. It was a nice amount of people in there, but it, the flow of it allowed you to see everything that you wanted to see with no issue. It's not much of anything that you, if you are a Jay Z fan, it's not much that you didn't already know. Mm. But just to see that it was displayed, the experience. Yeah, most of the the stuff that I enjoyed um, most about it was a lot of the um, uh, the artwork that they had of them. Um, there was a couple um, uh, uh, murals painted up on the walls and stuff like that. Mm. 
um, and some actual uh, artist's work that was framed, uh, displayed on there. That was pretty cool. Like stuff that you don't really see. Right. I thought that was a good a good twist to it. But it was a nice little vibe. You know what I mean? You can pretty much see everything in about 30 to 45 minutes if you speed through or take your time. You know, it's all placed well. And the the, the library itself is, is big, but it's not that big. Right. It's not like a like a museum size or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But it was cool. You know what I mean? They had some... Uh, in one room, they had um, videos playing on the walls of concerts, interviews with other artists or people that know them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was decent. I think it's over now. I think, okay. Yeah, I think it's over. They pretty much moved on out. I think Spike, some type of Spike League exhibit about to take the place of that now. Yeah. That's decent. Yeah, did, you, didn't, you never wanted to check it out? No, not really. You a whole fan or no? Mm-hmm. No? Nah? I was never really interested in listening to Jay-Z like that. Gotcha. I feel like for me, like from in order for me to like listen to somebody's music or be a fan of somebody for real, I have to relate to them in some kind of way. Or relate to the music in some kind of way. Mm-hmm. I was never a drug dealer, so I could never bop my head to it, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they have to do with anything, but hey, whatever. <laughs> We got Tupac now. Mm-hmm. They basically saying they they charging this man by the name of uh, Keefe D for Pac's murder. Now I know he done a lot of that, uh, Vlad interviews saying that he did it. He's supposed to have a tell all <coughs> book. That's really uh, the big the big trending topic right now. Oh, so does that mean P Diddy going to jail finally? Damn, yeah, you be saying some wild stuff. I don't know. I mean, even Eminem said it. Who? Eminem. Eminem. He said it too. Said what? That did he put the hit out that got Bob killed. He did? Mm-hmm. You making that up? I'm dead ass. He said it in a diss song. Mm. When he was going back on when he was going back and forth for uh MGK. I mean, listen. If Diddy if Diddy has something to do with that, that would be wild. He did have something to do with it. That would be wild. I mean, listen, nobody came to him yet. He hasn't been charged with anything. Because I was about to say something crazy, but go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> say, say what's on your mind. Because, I I mean, I know it was rumors out there, but I, I never thought that uh, he conspired against Boy like that. I mean, well, what, what reason would he have not to do it? Uh, to not go to fuck the jail. <laughs> and plus, you know, that's... But it's P. Diddy, though. That's brother love. I'm not calling that nigga that. <laughs> that's bro- <laughs> brother love. But you'll call him P. Diddy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know. If he did that shit, that would be crazy. You know what I mean? And would that that would make him an accomplice to the yeah. murder, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all types of wild stuff going out there. That's why he, they saying that's why he um starting to give his artists their publishings back and all this other stuff nonsense. Yeah, because his money about to be tied up in jail. I don't know. I mean, and Shug talking about he don't want to say nothing, but at the same time... At this point, that nigga is dead. But at the same time, <laughs> they saying the cops don't have the right person. Like, the actual shooter mm. is not this Keefe D boy. I mean, I thought they're going to find the actual shooter at this point. He probably dead. He's probably there. Where? So he's probably in attendance. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't... It's, it's kind of crazy to me because... I feel like P. Diddy. So you, you believe that he has I'm something a, to do I'm going to stand it. on that hill. You believe... you So you... Mm-hmm. You, you pointing a finger at him. Um, yeah. You accusing Diddy. Yes. All right. Yeah. No, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You, huh? you scared of P. Diddy? No. I just not putting something <laughs> on... I'm not putting that on, on somebody oh, if they yeah. didn't do it. You know what I mean? I'll, like, w- I'll do it for you. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> now, again, if he did, that would be that would be fucked up. That would be fucked up. And wait, uh, who died first? What between who? Pac, Pac and, uh, and Biggie? Yeah, Pop. 
Oh, he did die for him. Yeah. That shit that Pac and Biggie went through was some weird, real, real shit. You know what I mean? That was that was a thing. That's what happens when rappers don't do tough. I mean, he I mean Pac did transition from, you know, being poetic and well, so did Michael Mix. And all that and then yeah, but he became a thug. He went from being a poetic rapper for the people to being more of a gangster rapper. His first two albums was more on some like street poetry shit, but this one was more into some Then he found a uh, gangster shit. Then he found Jada. Now, Jada was back in the day. Yeah. No, oh, they've been friends way before he was even. Did you artist. see what she put out on her birthday? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'm. So, I don't. I don't see how Will is still. What would you do if you was Will? What would you do? Ah oh, man, I don't know. He was just. You just got banned from the Oscars for defending her against Chris Rock. It was her birthday. He did all this extravagant shit for. Her. Right. And then she went and go. Post it. Pop her on her shit. If he hasn't already, <laughs> we would have to have a long conversation. Like, yo, you need to sit down somewhere. <laughs> just for a little bit, man. We need you to sit down. I just need you to, to go chill. You know Would what you I mean? be mad? After everything? Yeah. I wouldn't be mad that she posted about him. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, you know. But I would be mad that she's still putting herself out there to be, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, listen... Let this boy, let that, <laughs> let that boy rest in peace, man. Where's she getting all these old clips from? <laughs> Why she still got them? They was best friends. No, she. I heard you. They, 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 they were best friends. Like that was I heard you. her ride or die. That's what she's telling Will too. What? I mean, I, I think yeah, I think she had a, a romantic relationship with him. I think she even said that she did. But at the end of the day, they was they, they were really close friends. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I think she just need to, to sit down for a minute. You know what I mean? Actually, what if we all got it wrong? As far it as... It wasn't P. Diddy. Oh, now you're retracting your P. Diddy. I don't know who the trigger man was. You going to say, well... <laughs> 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 I know you, that's what you... Will, Will Smith did it. Yeah, it, it all makes sense now. Like this more. Enough is enough about this Tupac mm -hmm. thing. That's a wild conspiracy theory, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. Nigga, Will got the juice now. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know. That's why he don't care, because he was like, okay, just so you know. Hey, I mean, he, 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 he has definitely shown us that he got some thug in him. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I, I can't, I don't believe that one either. But interesting, P, though. P. Diddy hired Will to kill Pop. Because nobody's going to expect Will Smith shooting a nigga. <laughs> you going to question Will Smith? Yes. <laughs> yes. No, you're not. Yes, you not are. Not in that situation. Listen. That's the last person you're going to expect in that situation. Will Smith has been on screen killing motherfuckers. <laughs> That's a, it's a movie. <laughs> Life imitates art. Oh, cool, but in, I'm talking about in that specific situation, the last person you are going to question is Will Smith. No. Nah. Yes. No, you're not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Nobody was even worried about Will Smith. Have you read his um his book? Yeah. So all the stuff he said in that book. Nobody was worrying about Will Smith. <laughs> huh? Everything in that he, situation, at that everything time. Everything he wrote in that at book. At that time, nobody was was suspecting Will Smith to do that. That's why it's a perfect crime. Listen, the boy from West Philly, man. Okay. So am I. Yeah. Now I look at you like you ready to snap <laughs> any day, too. <laughs> Yo, the crazy shit you be saying? Yeah. Hey, it's all good. Exactly. So I figured, I figured it out, Will. Yeah, nah. I don't know. If P. Diddy has something to do it, I know a lot of people say that changes the um how 
the culture looks at. Do you take his Grammys away? Fucking Grammys have nothing to do with murder, man. You don't take no Grammys away. And if that's the case, go ahead and say it. Your favorite artist, R. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everything he did should be wiped off the face of the it earth. It should be. All right then. So I agree with that. You agree with what? Uh, wiping away R. Kelly's music. Nah. Because he was singing about little girls. That's not. That's not what. Exactly. That's not. That's <laughs> not every song. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Only a small percentage. That nigga was singing his heart out. Nah. I mean, the, the obvious ones. The the age ain't nothing about the number that he did with, you know, baby the underage girl. girl. Huh? With an underage girl. Right. So he been yes, he has been singing about that. I think a lot of the, the little kitty joints that you remind me of the Jeep type stuff, sure. All right, but you know, you saying just wipe the history of his music? Yeah. I mean, I don't support that shit. Now I can't tell you the last time I listened to a, a R. Kelly song, but yeah. But I mean, how do you just wipe someone's musical history out? Is either you support it or you don't? Well, not just get rid of it. You got to get rid of um, all the, like when, uh, no. Yeah. This dude. Because at the end of the day, it's still the freedom of speech. Yeah. It's still freedom of, you know, expression. No matter that's, how sick that, that, mean is, that don't mean you're free from consequences. You Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, it's freedom of speech for sure. Yeah. But you still, it's still a consequence tied to that too. Yeah. Well, where he at? There you go. <laughs> now, and do you think P. Diddy turn? All right. So with P. Diddy, with P. Diddy, mm-hmm. do you think that yes. everything that he's done with the culture of hip hop and R and B will that be tarnished? Yeah. If he is a suspect, or not even a suspect, if he's convicted of helping the murder of Tupac Shakur? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. I think a lot of people will look at him different. Because a lot of things after that influenced a lot of other things. Right. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I hope not. I really do. I really hope that that's not the case. Mm -hmm. But if it is. Put that nigga in jail. I mean, if it is, again, the consequences that come with that. But I'm talking more of the culture of the music. Does, Does that change the whole trajectory of what he's done for hip hop and R and B with all the production that he did, the albums. Um, I mean, he's still pretty much relevant to this day. You know, he just dropped the um, uh, uh, the uh, album last month, which mm, it was okay. It was some okay joints on it. it. Hmm? I didn't listen to it. Yeah, oh, it was I don't cool. Don't support murder- murders. This was. <laughs> <laughs> that was what. <laughs> After, after two bucks murder, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. But, so you've been thinking this for quite some time. Mm-hmm. All right, it's definitely going to play a part. It's going to be a lot of people that's going to boycott this dude or look at him differently. Yeah, he's going to get a lot of uh, a lot of hate. A lot of hate. Will he go to jail? He would have to. Why though? I mean, he didn't pull the trigger, but if you still can, it's not statute limitations on on it. No. No, the case is, it's a cold, it was a cold case until this man got arrested. But that case, that case stays mm-hmm. open. When they find you, you get the evidence that they have against you, it's a go. Hmm. Yeah, put him in jail. How, how, how much time should he get? How much time should he get? Yeah. I don't know, because he hasn't, he hasn't been. Hypothetically, how much, if he is the one that can, that orchestrated this entire thing to go down. How much time should he get? I don't know. I'm going to say life. Life? Yes. Life. Yes. For not being a trigger man. But he was the one that pointed the finger. He was the one that hired the nigga that sh- to pull the trigger. Yeah. And okay. set the whole operation up. Okay. And if that he, was the case. And he lived an entire lifetime after the fact. So therefore, he should spend the rest of his lifetime in jail. No. If he's guilty. I mean, I don't know. I'll leave that to um, 
I might as well just make me a judge at this. Yeah, at this I'll leave point. that to you and, and the courts to decide on that. You know what I mean? I need to be a judge. Cause um, I guess it is. I guess it is levels. There's levels to to what you would have to be accountable for or not. Yeah, because it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for him. A lot of people say it was going to happen regardless, whether it, he had something to do with it or not. After you know, stomping out the ball prior to, they said that he, the gang members was already on this on this on his head mm-hmm. after after the brawl. So a lot of people saying whether this Keith Keith D did it, if Puffy had something to do with it, or someone else. They said Bull was moving in a way that. What is this nigga's actual name? Who? Diddy. Sean Combs. How you don't know that? I don't follow him with hers. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sean. just trying to call him this nigga P. Diddy, so I'm going to just call him Sean. Oh, first name basis now. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I will leave, again, I will leave that to the courts. Um, he will be um, on trial, I guess. Whatever the case, if he is involved with the murder. Well, murderers belong in jail. And therefore, Sean should be in jail. (laughs) (laughs) All right, cool. (laughs) This boy is wild, man. All right. I'm going to be a judge. I think it's too late for you. Might be. Yeah, I'm gonna still apply just to see what's up. Now you may you you sound like you you already pretty judgmental, but an actual judge of the court. Yeah, I'm gonna still apply see what's open. <laughs> Nothing. <I'm> <laughs> Go <laughs> indeed. Nah, the only thing you, you, the only thing you can judge is a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's what Sean be doing on his free time. You still really calling this boy Sean now? <laughs> That's that nigga yeah. name. That's, that's his name. You really calling him boy? <laughs> no, that's what Sean be doing. <laughs> like boy. it's a regular nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Listen, man. All right. And uh, another thing that's trending right now is um Anthony Mackie. Mm-hmm. People are in fake outrage. Fake outrage because this man would not take a picture with a child fan. Uh, from what they're reporting is that the parents of this uh, little boy went, at, went to Anthony Mackey, asked him to take a picture um, with their son. Mm-hmm. Anthony Mackey said, no, thank you. However, I will sit down and have a quick conversation with your son, you know, see, encourage him to, you know, do some, the right things and so on and so forth, right. which he ended up doing. Okay. But now there seems to be more fake outrage of this man refusing to take this picture. And I don't know, to me, that shit is just dumb. Like, <laughs> do you feel as though that celebrities have a responsibility to participate with what the fans want as far as autographs, pictures, so on and so forth. I'm going to say no. Hmm. They're not obligated to do anything. Because at the end of the day, these people are regular people still. Mm -hmm. Like they got a life, they live outside of the big screen, shit like that. Right. These celebrities aren't obligated to give you anything outside of what they do as their person. Right. No, I agree with that, too. I think people need to remove themselves from this whole, you know, celebrity bashing or, like you said, they think that these people are obligated to do what they are asked to do as far as autographs, as far as photos, because, you know, they went and watched one of their movies, like, Mm -hmm. or listen to their music. I think that's just trash. But I will say this though. What's that? At one point does it does AI get involved in it? Cause if you the celebrity refuses 
a regular fan something. Mm-hmm. Let's just say there's an AI that will do it for him. <laughs> what? So, yeah. So, let's say <clears throat> there's an AI that takes their likeness mm-hmm. and people can take pictures with this AI instead of them. Okay. Now, the celebrity themselves becomes useless in a way. First of all, no. AI, no. I'm... It's interesting that you say that, right? Mm-hmm. I went to go see this movie. It came okay. out um, about two weeks ago called The Creator. Mm-hmm. John David uh, Washington, David Denzel Washington. So this is about AI, right? Okay. So in the, in the movie, you can sell your likeness so that these androids can look like you, so they can have a more human form. So if you sell your likeness, then there's like a whole bunch of... Uh, androids walking around with your likeness, your face, your hair, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing. Okay. Now, the thing is, when you sell your likeness, you're selling who you are, and this this image of you can be used however. However. So let's say, alright, you give them a green light to mm-hmm. use your likeness, and your likeness is being used for all types of foul shit. Okay. Like pornography, or snuff films, or just shit that you just like, nah, you can't. Like, I don't, that's not who I am. But everybody's going to associate you with uh, this uh, okay. character because that's your face, whether it's you or not. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. So, like I was saying, Anthony and Mackey, just sign the fucking autograph. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's you like, don't have no, to sign out. I'm just playing. Bro. <laughs> Fuck that. But I was, that's what I was saying, though. Like, what if AI becomes a thing where that they don't even have to worry about having to physically do it anymore since they don't want to do it in the first place? You know, the, the AI takes over that. Then that would just that would destroy memorabilia. Mm. You know what I mean? Get a signature of uh, your favorite um, player's jersey. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, that's the thing. Like, that would just destroy everything that people love about the culture of sports, the culture of movies, of artistry. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's the same. That's how that uh the whole NFT shit was such a fucking dud. A picture of a picture. Yeah, that NFT thing was stupid. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, Nobody wants that. It's, it's no longer authentic. You know what I mean? So, for as far as Anthony, that's why I think AI won't. I, I think AI will be a dud too, eventually. No, nah, it was kind of interesting. It was kind of interesting how the movie portrayed it. Now, the AI thing is not going to be a dud. A dud. I think it will. Nah, that shit here to stay. Nah. Trust me when I tell you. Nah. That shit is here to stay. Nah. Now. Because once you put the watermark on it, it's. It loses the value. Nah. Yeah. No, we're not talking about we're not talking about no fake photos. I'm talking about actual artificial intelligence. Like androids. Well, yeah. that's a different thing. Yeah, but that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah. That's I'm talking I'm about talking like about. the AI we have right now. I think that No, that 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 technology is a thing. The AI thing is here to stay, for sure. Now <clears throat> with the Anthony Mackie thing. Or any celebrity now, which I'll, I don't think cele- celebrities owe fans anything. No, they don't. It's either you, you purchase or consume the content or you don't. It is what it is. You know what but I mean? But I feel like social media is a reason why people think celebrities are obligated to do these things. Because social media makes people feel like they know these people personally. Yeah, that, that's craziness though. That's, no, that's that's what it is. That's though. that's craziness. Like you don't, no, no. I mean, that's what it is. Though. I guess and the yeah. I mean, sure, but it's still it's uh, still yeah for sure. But it's not right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, like I like with uh what Doja Cat did when she was telling people, "Yo, y'all, y'all need to get a life." Mm-hmm. Now she wilding out now. Did you see? Yes. When they asked, uh, "Do you love your fans?" Oh yeah, I seen that. And then she was like, "No." She like, "No." I don't know y'all no, niggas. I don't know y'all. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'm with that. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I love that y'all enjoy 
Yeah, I love the support. The artistry yeah, that yeah. I put out there. But as far as me personally loving y'all, no. Yeah. No, you're not supposed to. That don't even make sense. Mm -hmm. And for real, for real, the artist is setting themselves up for that because, you know, they after every show, love you guys or we love y'all or um, no. Stop saying that to these people. Because you're giving them false, false hope. You're giving them false expectations of you now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you definitely supposed to appreciate your fans. You supposed to acknowledge that without them, you know what I mean? You wouldn't be where you are mm -hmm. at now with the success that you have. Right. You definitely supposed to acknowledge them for that. But to love them or have some type of obligation to let them know that you love them, that's silly shit. <laughs> like it is. And for these weirdos that have to have that that type of um, acknowledgement, they need to, listen, like I said, you know, Doja said it best. I need to take that energy and do something right with y'all lives, man. Like, what are y'all chasing around with me for? Like, do y'all own thing. Like, again, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for buying my music. But that's all I owe y'all. You know what I mean? And that's how it should be. Mm -hmm. Straight up and, and, and down, man. Now, like, this definitely has been an a ongoing thing with celebrities now because it seems like every at least like twice a year we hearing about a celebrity saying no thank you or or turning a, a person down for a photo or signature mm -hmm. like we, again we should be over this do you ask for autographs and pictures when you see a celebrity no nah. i seen the quite i was at um i was at uh so you saw sean no, nah, I was at the outlets and then in the mall uh, like a few weeks ago and I ran into a, a celebrity. I ain't going to say his name. And you just like, yo, what's up, man? Boom, boom. You dab him up. And uh, that's it. You on with your day. That's it. You know what I mean? And he was cool. Mm -hmm. It was a dab. He acknowledged me. I acknowledged him. We went separate ways. You know what I mean? He, he, he had his family with him. I mm -hmm. had my family with me. You know? You, that's it. That's all you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You ain't supposed to be sitting up there yeah, gawking I agree with and, you. you know, asking for pictures and so you can post it or asking for mm -hmm. signatures. Like, you know what I mean? And again, if that's something, if you are a fan of that person that much, you politely ask. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. But if that person says no, don't be butt hurt by it. You know what I mean? Or not? Because <laughs> just don't. Like I'm here with my family. I'm trying to <clears throat> enjoy right. shopping. You know what I mean? I got little kids with me. You know what I mean? Like my time is supposed to be with them right now. Like mm -hmm. let me live. Right. You know what I mean? Like all right. And again, he, the motherfucker probably did a hundred photos and just signatures in day. thirty minutes ago. He's mm -hmm. like, all right, that's enough for the day. And unfortunately, whoever this person was, he was, the, was the cap. Yeah. Like, no, nah, I capped off, boy. You got to keep it moving. You know? But I think we got to stop beating these, um, these, these celebrities upside the head with this bullshit and stop putting these people on, on these pedestals. Because, again, they're just regular dudes. And a lot of them we put on these pedestals and they the most, sometimes the most fucked up individuals that you could ever meet. Exactly. You know what I mean? So. Like yeah. Sean. Just like whoever. Just like Sean. So, I mean, I think we just got to have grace with these motherfuckers. And these creepy ass fans need to find something better to do with themselves other than to bash another human being because they didn't get what they want. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All right, man. So we talked about uh, some music this go around. Uh, the culture of, of uh, hip hop may be, uh, <laughs> may be uh, on the brink of um, destruction. If, uh, oh, thanks to your man. If uh, this uh, P. Diddy thing is actual oh. go. All right. And, uh, you know, I guess we're going to find out what, how much, how deep this Tupac murder go. I already cracked it, so. You didn't. You know what I mean? You are the, How much you want to bet? You are the worst detective. How much you want to bet? I bet you by Christmas, Sean is behind bars. Listen, Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Actually, no. Since he want to call himself love, I bet you by February, by, I bet you by Valentine's Day, Sean is in jail. I'm not betting that, but I mean, I'll take your prediction. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. The story, the story may open up a whole can of worms, and or hopefully, it stops with this Keefe D. And you know, what I mean, the Tupac uh, thing could be put to rest. This killer can do whatever time or whatever punishment that's uh, going to be served to him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, that mystery can now be uh, solved and removed. And maybe we can uh, move on and find out about some other people. You know what I mean, you know, everybody seems to want to go on uh, some type of platform and spew their guts out to people that's listening. Tell them themselves. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see. We will see. But this is a wrap for our show. Look forward to getting back to you guys next time with some good conversation. Sure. All right.